Hey, it's been a while. So 20 trending sneaker brands for 2024. So despite what the resale market tells us about Nikes and Jordans and sneaker prices being at an all time low, I feel like sneakers themselves are at an all time high. Whether it's the brand diversity that's out there or the number of interesting new silhouettes or archive retros that brands are pulling out from the vault. I think there's just so much to like in the footwear space. And I really just wanna use this video to talk about and share a lot of the brands and silhouettes that I've been into. So hopefully from this, you can discover a new brand or a new interesting silhouette that you like. And I wanna help you branch out from just Nikes, Jordans, and Adidas. One more thing, I'm gonna start with the biggest brands and then move on to the more up and coming or unknown brands. So definitely feel free to skip to where you like. Okay, so first brand, everyone knows this brand already, it's New Balance, and New Balance specializes in running and lifestyle sneakers. And if you don't know, New Balance was founded in 1906, so they're over 100 years old, which is kind of crazy. Uh, they're based in Boston, and a big part of New Balance's resurgence is because of Teddy Santos, who was brought into New Balance as their creative director. Since his introduction into New Balance, New Balance has been killing it in the sneaker game. Whether it's through collaborations with artists and different designers, or bringing back their long history of retro and classic running and lifestyle models, New Balance has probably been the best sneaker brand in the past two years. There are a lot of upcoming exciting collaborations with New Balance. In fact, there's so many, I think that could have been its own separate video. One that I'm really excited for in February, Jown Gore-Tex 2002 Rs. So yeah, that's New Balance if you haven't heard of them. Great sneaker brand to check out. Next brand, Asics, running and lifestyle. Lifestyle mainly, some running offerings, I think in the retro category. Asics definitely blew up in 2023 and they're definitely continuing that in 2024. I think Asics is probably the trendiest brand on this list, mainly due to just really successful collaborations they've had recently. It's just a cool uh, Japanese sportswear sneaker brand to check out if you haven't already. They have a lot of retro offerings, but I think most popularly are their retro runners. and. The two slots I'd recommend from that category, Gel Cano 14s, Gel 1130s, and also, again, Gel NYCs. And yeah, that's ASICs. On to the next one, Saucony. So we're seeing a trend here, running and lifestyle, I think definitely really big from 2023 and will continue to be really big in 2024. But Saucony, they're an American brand. They were founded in 1898. I think they might be the oldest sneaker brand on this list. And they definitely have a lot of recent hype with the J-Tips collaborations. So Saucony, I've only ever owned one pair of Sauconys and I think that was their grid 9000s, but they were super comfortable. One of the most comfortable sneakers I've owned is just aesthetically, it didn't really match my style. And upcoming, I think Saucony is also growing into the Gorpcore trend and I'm really interested in their grid peaks silhouette that's coming up. So yeah, keep an eye on Saucony. And after that, we have Diodora. So Diodora is a sportswear, running, and lifestyle brand. They really remind me of Saucony with a lot of their retros, kind of like Nike Dunk retros, but not Nike Dunks, obviously. Maybe one of the more quiet brands recently, but definitely in the mid 2010s, they had a lot of collaborations coming out. Some interesting silhouettes from them, the Mythos Propulsion 280M2, the Equip Sestrier XT Trail, onto that Gorp Tour kind of trend, and upcoming, I'm not too sure actually, but keep an eye out again if you're into that retro kind of lifestyle running brand for Diodora. And up next, one of the trendiest sneaker brands, all because of Gorecore, Solomon. If you haven't heard, Solomon is an outdoors and trail running focused sneaker brand. They're founded in 1947 and originally based on performance gear for the French Alps. And of course, they're now the centerpiece of the Gorp Core sneaker trend. Some models I'd recommend from Solomon, check out their XT6s, XT4s. Those are probably their most popular. And for good reason, they are highly performance-based, but have such a cool and unique aesthetic to them. 
I'll recommend the XL pages being super comfortable and the XD quests also being very interesting. The one knock against Solomon is that I think their sneakers fit a little bit weird, like narrow and long, but really, really worth it for kind of that unique outdoors aesthetic. So yeah, that's Solomon. All right, up next, Hoka. So Hoka is a running outdoors and lifestyle brand, although their primary focus is on running. They're founded in 2009, based out of France, by former Solomon employees, which is really interesting. They've definitely been known for their super, super maximalist sneakers. So where you see all these chunky running sneakers, Hoka probably started that trend. So I really love Hoka. I think they're definitely gonna be the brand to beat for 2024, but anything from their Tour series to the Mafate 3.2s, uh, the Clifton LS has been a surprisingly great model from their Satisfy collaboration. And upcoming, they even have a collaboration with Calme de Garçons. So that really shows you how Hoka has kind of been blowing up recently. So yeah, those are some of the bigger brands. Let's move on to some of the more up and coming brands. So first up and coming brand, we have Mizuno. And Mizuno is mainly running, lifestyle, sportswear. To me, they've been slowly creeping onto the trends with a lot of running and gorpy silhouettes. Still up and coming, a lot less popular than Asics and Hoka, but definitely cool to check out. Some silhouettes that have been on my radar, the Wave Rider 10s, just a really cool looking running silhouette, a super edgy runner in the Prophecy LS. And also if you're into Gorp Core, the Wave Mugens are a really cool silhouette to check out. So Mizuno, definitely less popular, but slowly making their way onto the fashion cycles. And up next, less known for their footwear, and that is the North Face. And the North Face is an outdoors brand owned by the same owners that own Supreme, which is really weird. But originally, the North Face was founded in 1966 to supply climbers. And the North Face is the Gorp Core brand that I loved growing up. So again, the North Face, mainly known for clothing, but they've actually been making some pretty cool silhouettes for sneakers. So some silhouettes that were interesting from the North Face, uh, the Glencliffe Lows and also the Glencliffe Urbans, although quality reviews have been kind of a little mixed on the Glencliffe Lows. Definitely keep your eye out on the North Face's footwear offerings. So next brand we have Collegium. So yeah, Collegium, based in LA, founded in 2015. So Collegium is such an interesting brand because when I first heard of them, they are making kind of premium bootleg Jordans. They also have on offering some bootleg general purpose shoes. And now they have a lot of really cool derbies and upcoming, they even have a lot of new Gorp Core related sneakers and boot silhouettes. It's a big identity crisis for me, but I think it's really exciting that Collegium is kind of still trying to find its identity. And as they're doing so, they're making really cool silhouettes in all of these different domains. And up next, a outdoors hiking and lifestyle brand in Morel. And Morel, I think, got big a few years ago with the Hydro Mock, especially as foam runners were reaching their peak of hype and being super limited. The Hydro Mock were kind of the go to alternative for foam sneakers. Morel, definitely really cool for a lot of hiking sneakers. The one silhouette I have from Morel are the Mock Speed Streak Evos, which were the collaboration with Nicole McLaughlin. And some other ones I've been keeping my eye on. The Moab Speed 2 Gore-Tex, Agility Peak 5, Moab Speed Zips, Moab 3s. Morale just has a lot of really interesting models. And again, definitely if you're into sneaker boots, that hiking aesthetic, Morale is a good one to check out. And up next, we have apparently one of the best-selling sneaker brands throughout the past few years, and that is On Running. On Running is, of course, it's in the name, running and lifestyle sneakers. They are a Swiss brand, and they definitely remind me of Swiss Army Lives in terms of their design aesthetic. It also gives me a very kind of rich and privileged aesthetic to kind of their footwear offerings. Personally, I haven't tried anything from On, but I am interested in some silhouettes, like their collaboration with Loewe, and then also with Packer on the Cloud Ventures. So On, definitely not my aesthetic, but a really cool brand, I think, to check out if you are into that 
simple runner design with kind of a futuristic flair to it. Next brand, Keen. So Keen is a hiking outdoors trail based brand. To me, their silhouettes and their offerings aren't quite there yet in terms of being really popular within fashion. I think give them a year or two and I think Keen is a brand that'll definitely explode. The reason I say that is because a lot of cool offerings from their Japanese designers and a lot of cool models like the Jasper 2, the original Jaspers, the Tarhi 2 mids, just a lot of cool Gorby sneaker slash boot design choices. Oh, and they have a really cool looking Grimiji collaboration coming out too. Next, we have a running slash trail running focus brand, and that is Norda. So Norda, their running shoes are super pricey, but they are the only sneakers featuring Dyneema, which is a super lightweight, strong, waterproof, synthetic fabric. Definitely really big in the running community. Again, a bit pricey if you're looking for a running shoe aesthetic, but if you want running shoes that are just a little bit different from the New Balances and the Asics that are trending right now. And they even have a cool collaboration with Raining Champ. So that's Norda. Moving on to some boots, we have the first brand, Danner. So Danner, mainly focus is on hiking, boots, workwear, the outdoors. They were founded in 1932. They're based in Portland. And to me, they make a lot of really high quality boots. Although Rose Anvil might tell me otherwise. Some item recs from Danner, the Mountain 600s, Danner Light Lows, and upcoming Danner just has a lot of really great stuff, again, from their Japanese designers or Japanese collaborations. All their Japan exclusives make me a little bit sad because I can't buy them here in the States. So Danner, definitely a good one to check out if you're looking for boots. And up next, Oakley. So the sunglasses company, yes. But really, I think they're moving into being kind of a more edgy, outdoorsy focus brand. But yeah, Oakley's an interesting one. Definitely kind of the edgy cousin of outdoors footwear. Some interesting silhouettes from Oakley, the Oakley Teeths, Flush Sandals, their Chop Saws were a really interesting sneaker boot. And they've even had a cool collaboration with Junior Watanabe on their Flush Sandal. Upcoming, totally gonna say this wrong, but they have some cool archive silhouettes they're bringing out in a collaboration with PA. And yeah, I'm just excited to see the archive of interesting models that are coming out from Oakley. And moving on, we have Sweet Coke. Sweet Coke was founded in 2006 and I think really started getting popular in 2018 for their sandals, but definitely pushed forward by the pandemic trend of comfy footwear. They have a huge selection of just more casual footwear offerings. Again, sandals, quads, things like that. Some cool silhouettes I'm into, Pepper Edab, the Bauer Edabs if you're looking for a mid top, and Pepper Low Abs are actually fairly cool too. So Sweet Coke, definitely big in the fashion community already, but Hey, if you're looking for an alternative to Birkenstocks, Suiko is a really good one to check out. All right, up next, another boot brand, and that is DM. They are a Italian boot company, very popular with the fashion community, definitely reflected in their price range. They are really on the pricey side. Again, they specialize in hiking outdoors, but I would really say that's more for a kind of like higher fashion, but they have a lot of cool low cut boots, which are surprisingly rare to find. Really good ones to check out. I'm into the Corneros, Rocasia Bassos, the Grappa Hikers. I definitely regret sleeping on the Nicole McLaughlin's, but I think the price point was just my barrier to entry there. And yeah, upcoming, they've had a Kiff collaboration on the Corneros, but if you're looking for a low cut boot, DM is probably one of the best brands to check out. Up next, heavy into Gorpcore, we have Roa. Roa is another Italian sneaker boot brand founded in 2015 and definitely on the pricey side. So Roa is definitely focused in hiking and outdoors for their aesthetics, but 
To me, I really think their focus or target audience is within the higher fashion community. Uh, I really don't know if their footwear performs well, but they definitely look very interesting. Some models I'm into, the Katharina Lowe's, CBO's for boots, and Neil's for kind of a hiking low-cut sneaker boot. Recently, they've even had a Crocs collab, which speaks to just how popular they kind of become. But definitely a cool brand to keep your eye on if you're into that core core sneaker aesthetic. And second to last, we have Ultra. And Ultra is a running slash trail running focused company. Ultra is an American company. They're also acquired by VF Corporation. So the same parent company that owns the North Face and Supreme. So kind of interesting. So Ultra, a pretty quiet, low-key sneaker company. I don't really see many people wearing Ultra. Some interesting silhouettes that I'm into. The Olympus 2 in the all-black colorway. Mont Blanc Boas for your gorp core slash trail running needs. And the Olympus 5 hike lows are also fairly interesting to me. So Ultra, I don't see them blowing up anytime soon, but definitely just a call on to check out, again, if you're looking for running slash low-key trail running sneakers. And hey, if you made it this far and you're new here, like and a sub really helps out my tiny channel. So thanks so much. Last but not least, we have athletics, just athletics. So athletics is a trail performance and lifestyle based footwear brand, but I would definitely still categorize them for that higher fashion audience. They're founded in 2018, so one of the youngest footwear brands out there, but they're already making a lot of really interesting runners. But yeah, to me, I think their most interesting silhouettes out of the very few that they offer are the 2.0 lows and also the 2.0 mids. So they might not be the most popular brand right now, but I do like how new brands are coming into focus and they're just offering something that's different from the huge super mega corporations that are out there. So there you go. 20 trending and upcoming sneaker brands to check out in 2024. Sneakers, footwear, and fashion are just so exciting right now. And in general, there are just so many things to try and so many things to like that are coming out from all these different brands. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.